Mr. Scott here. Today we're going to do the automatic transmission service on a Mercedes W639 115 CDI Vito van. Um, the van belongs to a friend of mine, um, identical to the one I have, and two of us um, went over to give him a hand to do it. And I think the interesting thing is, is that uh, the, the three of us have university degrees. Uh, however, when you watch the video, you'll probably question that. So the big warning here is if you have teenage children and you're hoping they go to university, uh, don't let them watch this video. What we've done here is we've raised the vehicle onto ramps, both front and rear, just to give us working room. We've also given it a good blast underneath with a pressure washer to remove any dirt and dust, and also on the slab underneath. Cleanliness is very important when you start playing around with automatic transmissions. And what we're doing here is we're trying to find the oil drain plug in the converter. And we need to turn the engine anti-clockwise looking from the rear or clockwise looking from the front. And you're which way are you turning the engine, Neil? It's clockwise. Round. Oh, anti-clockwise, I believe. Yes, it is. Well, what? Back the other way a little bit. Does it really matter, Scott? Like, why would it matter? It's not like um, I don't do the front nut, is it? Well, I, I'm just going on what the whisk says. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'd be so you don't undo the front nut. Possibly, yeah. Yeah. Where they do car restos? Yeah. And he had an old Bentley that he's done um, sold Ooh, for somebody. That's tight. He's now working on. Did it, did it loosen? <laughs> We're going to come out quick. What's this going to do? Do I drop the freaking no, just put head? This, no, just it'll stay in there. So once it's, once it's undone, you'll feel when you hit the end of the tree, just pull it away. There you go. Mate, look on the bright side, then you will just fill it. As tight as these proverbial fishes. Oh, not that yeah, tight. Not that tight. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, yeah, please. Do a video of hanging you from a tree later? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah possibly. <laughs> Mate, have you signed a uh, release for this video before you've yeah. started this filming? Is, this is the three stooges <laughs> doing an oil change. Holy yeah. shit. Jesus. Did that break? Yeah, what uh, we're up to here is we're taking the bolts out of the oil pan. Uh, we had a few problems because some of them were very, very tight, which is not unusual apparently. Um, and we actually broke one of our Torx bits. But we persevered and uh, we got them out in the end without uh, breaking any of the bolts. One of the other Stooges uh, has taken the oil pan away to give it a good clean. So you need to get the degreaser onto it and thoroughly clean the oil pan so that you can eat your breakfast off it. Again, cleanliness is very important and use lint-free cloth or rag. It's like in oil. It just pulls out. Yeah, that's supposed to be straight down. down. Yeah, just pull it straight down. that. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you are getting dirty. We've got transmission oil from one end to, <laughs> to the other. <laughs> For some reason, when, when I did mine, it literally fell off. Yeah. So that, that's your feed line to the thermo controller. So you can undo that and we'll put our special fitting on there so we can flush it. Which one are you doing first, gentlemen? We're, doing, we're flushing the... the one that requires a banjo bolt? Yeah, so this line goes to the thermo control valve and we're just going to let the oil come back into the transmission and drop out okay. through this the oil pan. Or through, yeah, just through the transmission. So what we're doing here is we're putting a special fitting that one of us made on our mini lathe um, out of the 10 millimeter bolt. So we're putting that onto the banjo uh, to allow us to flush oil into that yeah. line and through to the thermo control valve and send it back into the transmission and 
out the bottom. That'll probably be enough. No, it's it's fine. So what are they doing? So we stuck the plastic hose on. That's 600 mil of oil. Exactly. So what we're doing here is we're oh, flushing out the oil cooler lines. Uh, in this vehicle they're split into two, so we're flushing the line to the thermo control valve. And we're using a special tool, which is a sports drink bottle. Good thing is we were able to drink the sports drink first. Um, so you just use the bottle with a uh, compressed air hose set on about 5 psi. Well, pump it through. Scott, yeah. when he pulls this off, you have to be ready to pass in the bandwidth. Excellent. Now, the, the whisk says to do this up to 95 Newton metres, but I found that... That's ridiculous. I found high. that amazingly high, so I didn't do it up that much. I, I did it up tightly, but not to 95. That's it. Yeah, that's in. That's good. Yeah, they use all the same. Uh, they are. Everything's the same except for the front one over there, where the the clamp is part of the uh, bracket that holds the pipe on. Is your sub plug torqued up? No. It's, out of the it's what we've done now is we put the oil pan back on and torqued the bolts up to 8 newton metres and now we're putting the torque converter drain plug back in and torquing that up as well. Now we're on to the last step. What we're doing now is we're flushing the lines from the thermo control valve through to the oil cooler. So one of the three Sturges is just disconnecting the feed and the return line from the transmission cooler and we'll use the special tools um, laminate drink bottle to do the flushing. So it should start coming out of, of the return line, and which, it, which it is. Still brown. Still brown. Still brown. It's starting to change colour, isn't it? Yep, it's starting to change colour, has it not? Just yeah. run a bit more through. Bit more. Okay, a bit more. Tell me when you're happy. Pretty much the same now. You reckon that's nice and clean? We're done. So this is flushing the oil cooler now. Yeah. Thank you. Now you can just take it out and you can connect all that shit up. You pass me the fitting. The air box here, haven't we? To give us access to the, the filler tube. Where is that? That's just... Yeah. Yeah. Taking it for ages. What? <laughs> Taking it for ages. Mate, that's why you need to invest in Suda. Once I get that done bloody uh, under the tongue delivery of Viagra, you'll be happy man. So what we've done here is we've just uh, broken the little <coughs> red lock tab, which is what you have to do, and then you push it down to release it, and then you can pull the cap off for the to access the filler tube, and then you put all the oil in through the filler tube. He starts complaining about the Germans. So, what are we doing here? Seven point two liters initial. Is that right? Yes. Left in the container. Yeah, okay. That's a good funnel. Yeah. yeah. I can tell you, if you've got a Ducati, you need one. <laughs> when you've got 12 Ducatis, you need one. <laughs> I've only got nine. <laughs> we'll lift you down. So what we're doing here is we're bringing the oil up to temperature and we're keeping an eye on that, that temperature by using a digital multimeter with a temperature probe that we have duct taped to the oil pan with a piece of insulating foam over the top of it. So once you've got the oil between 70 and 90 degrees you have to start dipping it with a special dipstick and then just add oil in very small quantities each time until you get the oil level between the two lines on the dipstick. 
you have to do it while the engine is running with the transmission in park. So that's it, that's the job finished and although it may not have looked like it, we did actually do a very thorough job. We flushed everything properly, we set the fluid levels correctly and it's totally transformed the vehicle. It drives like a new one, transmission is very very smooth and we were very pleased with the outcome. So hopefully you'll find uh, the video helpful to you. Thanks for watching.